This is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Of course, the month is coming to an end, but this illness will live on. However, there are ways to prevent that from happening. And Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Tanisha Cordell has more on how you can take precautions. Well guys, Hamilton County Health Department officials say nearly 12,000 women in the U.S. were diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2013. Now that same year, more than 4,000 women died because of it. Cervical cancer is one of the most commonly diagnosed cancers among women worldwide. It's an alarming reality. Hamilton County Health Department officials say too many women face in Tennessee sometimes without knowing. According to a recent study, about nine women in every 100,000 were diagnosed with cervical cancer. About one third of them died. But officials say it can be prevented with regular screenings. Our program, we like to get people that haven't had, say it's been five to 10 years and you haven't had a pap smear, we're encouraged to get those people in. Dora Coker, the coordinator for the Tennessee Breast and Cervical Screening Program, says the most common cause of cervical cancer is HPV, a virus commonly spread during sexual intercourse. It's why she recommends girls and boys between 11 and 12 years old get the HPV vaccine. It does prevent cervical cancer and you wouldn't want your child to not to get it and then they find out later in life that it, they get cervical cancer and found out that it could have been prevented. Other risk factors for cervical cancer include smoking and having several sexual partners. But Coker says there's no reason any woman should ever have to face that reality. No woman in Tennessee should die from cervical cancer because it is treatable. The health department provides free cervical cancer screenings to eligible women. For more details on that, head to our website, wrcbtv.com. In the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.